So beryllium is the fourth element on the periodic table, and it is the second lightest metal. It is very expensive, very toxic, very strong, and very light. These four factors mean that its primary use is <clears throat> where toxicity you don't care about, price you don't care about, you want something very, very, very strong and very, very, very light. One of these applications is missile parts. So beryllium is used to make many missile parts. It is as hard as steel and much lighter than aluminum. What more can you ask for? It also happens to be transparent to x-rays. So it's used as windows for x-ray tubes, which need it to be strong because it needs to hold a vacuum, and it also needs to be transparent to x-rays, which beryllium happens to be. So those are its two main applications. And you may think that I'm just going to talk about it, and it's so toxic and so expensive that I can't, that I don't have any. But I did manage to acquire a little 1.8 gram sample. Here it is. I'm going to bring it close to the camera so you can see it. So that's pure beryllium metal right there. Very toxic, super hard, pretty expensive. And it is one of my favorite elements. Um, so another, another place beryllium is found that's not so exotic as the windows of x-ray tubes or missile parts is in beryl, which makes aquamarine, which is, you know, a semi-precious stone. Beryllium compounds are extremely exotic and very hard to find, and if you do find them, they're very toxic and they're very expensive. But uh, beryllium heads the group on the second is heads the second group on the periodic table, known as the alkali earth metals, which are reactive like the alkali metals. But as you can see by me holding this and it not being very tarnished, not nearly as reactive. And again, they get more reactive as you go down. So beryllium is the least reactive of them. However, I do have some hydrochloric acid which will react with many different things and I'm going to make a few milligrams of beryllium chloride. So in this little um, crucible I've got a few, about 40 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and I'm going to put this in here for just a few seconds. I just want a little bit of it to react. I still want to have it for my element collection. Here we go. It's reacting. Okay. So, now I can say that in here are a few milligrams of beryllium chloride. As I said before, beryllium is the second lightest metal, but it's still more than one and a half times as heavy as lithium. So it doesn't float in water, but it does react super, super, super slowly with water. Very, very slowly. You can't hardly, see, you can't see it at all in real time with water to make beryllium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Magnesium, the element right below beryllium, does this too, only slightly faster because it's slightly more reactive. That's all I've got to say about beryllium. See ya, boron.